Hi, I'm Bill McCormick. I'm with the Coomer and McCormick Real Estate Team. And today I have a question. Do you want your home to sit on the market or do you want it to sell? There's a fundamental difference to being in the market than there is to being on the market. Here's what I mean. This graph illustrates the market. And you're either in the market or you're out of the market, and it's done by two things that buyers look at, price and condition. Let's talk about price first, your price. If you're up here with your price in your marketplace, you're probably out of the market. Think aggressive pricing the lower we go on this scale. You need to be the most aggressively priced home on the market, and you will be in the market. Condition. If you're over here, you're only in fair condition, poor condition, that's not going to work. You need to work towards the center to get yourself in the market. Think brand new construction when it comes to condition. Condition and price equate to value in a buyer's eyes. And buyers today are looking for the best value, the best absolute value that they can find. Buyers are also looking for deals and steals, right? With today's fierce competition of foreclosures, short sales, share sales, bank-owned properties, and people being just on the market normally thinking that they have the best price and the best condition, the competition is fierce. In 2007, we had a market that looked like this. You could be the highest price, you could have the worst condition and you would still be in the market because homes just sold. They just did. Welcome to 2011. Those days of 2007 are long gone. Our marketplace today looks like this. And if you're not the absolute best in price and the best in condition, you're out of the market. We need to get people and we need to get you in the market, okay? There's only two ways that you're going to know whether or not you are in or out of the market. Here it comes. It's by showings and offers, okay? If you're not getting any showings and you've been on the market for some time, 30, 45 days, it's because the buyers don't perceive the value. You're either priced too high or you're in bad condition. So if you're not getting any showings, you're out of the market. But if you're getting showings and no offers, then you've created something that we call, or I call, no man's land. Here's what that looks like. No man's land. And no man's land works this way. You're essentially helping to sell your neighbor's house because you're close, they came to see your house, but they didn't put an offer in. So you, they actually, you actually force those buyers into the market to find a better value based on price and condition. So if you're getting no showings, you're out of the market. If you're getting showings and no offers, you're in no man's land. The only way that you know you are going to be in the market is by getting an offer. If you're not getting an offer, work on your price, Work on your condition, and the market will find you. I'm Bill McCormick. I absolutely love what I do. We offer friendly, compassionate, professional real estate services. And I believe, I absolutely believe that anything is possible, including selling your home together with the right attitude with the right focus, and with the right drive, we will accomplish your goals. We look forward to helping you. Thank you very much, and we'll talk with you soon.